Welcome or welcome back new viewers and gamer bears. It is time for another Kirby Star Allies episode and today we are going to finish the Guest Star Heroes mode with the Mage Sisters. In the last episode we did the first three levels and now we'll do the last two, so why don't we resume? Ready, go. And as we start off, I get hit with fire. Great start. <laughs> Already. I do it again. Nope. Dang it. It didn't show up again. Oh, now it did. Just, it was just a little delayed. He was a little late to the party. That's all. I ain't falling for that again. Alright, now we're a bit faster. And we hit a bit harder now, too. Francisco, you're gonna take the spot here so I can instantly get rid of those shields. Nobody likes those shields after all, they can be a little annoying. That burn the leaves, man. It's not just deforestation, we burn the leaves out here too. as well. And another heart. These, there we go. Might be a little something special over here. What is it? We're invincible now. And we have more HP now. Just thing we needed, actually. That's too many hits before. We gotta get some sort of key for that door there to get the secret on the other side. Now, how many of these will have a key? Who knows about this one? Oh, well, that was easy as well. I hope not miss out any more secrets. There we go. And then down here, unlock the door. Does that go... Did that take us back by any chance? That doesn't seem like a secret door. I don't know, we're just about here, I guess? Why are we... Whatever. <laughs> Took damage again. Ow. Ow. God, what is it with me taking so many hits in the water? Oh, it's because I'm a fire elemental, that's why. Alright, Broom Hatter, you gotta go. And now I have two electrical elementals on this team. And now I have three. Call me crazy, but I think this team's looking a little redundant. Oh, that's not a big deal. A lot of lightning and a lot of uh, thunder everywhere. It's a thunderstorm, right? This won't be too hard. Go one. I just make it easier. Two. A three. And we get some speed. Ow. 
out. Goddamn Gordo sitting right there. Alright, we got a boss up and coming, and I think I know who it is. Get out of my way, man. This is rude. Yeah, it's these guys. Taking too many hits. Silver Fox. Hey, get over here, Luigi. Oh, hey, look at that. My friend's gone before me. Oh, well, that was quick. Only got that done in about five minutes. Next stage. than before. Jeez, that just took so much damage. You don't want to get hit by the Waddle Dee Ball, man. They, uh, they hit really hard. Apparently. Alright, what if I sat here for a little bit? Looks like there might be something on that, uh, block there. Defense? Kind of rewards you for sitting there for a second. I like that. Don't want to leave any stones unturned, of course. Just now, I saw that. Ah, oh, whatever. Just like that. All right, there's something down there. Hold on. Eh, maybe not. It's probably just there for extra scenery. Something like that. I actually think there might be a secret under the stage somehow. If I can get in here. I'm so fast, I can't even get inside a door. Francisco, you take the mantle for a sec. Right, that's the only reason why that's there. Right, how do we get up here? attack power for our troubles. And another puzzle piece, too. Just a load of secrets everywhere. Actually, why did I just do that? Yeah, we can freeze that. There. 
Yeah, nothing special up here, it looks like. Well, you can still go through there without freezing the water. You just won't be able to see the border on the other side. If anything, I did that surely a favor, so he doesn't get blown up. I'd say that's a fate worse than getting cut by a sword that's literally on fire, right? Alright, we get some defense boosts. I really did need the HP. Hello, Aaron. How are you doing today? Everything's going just fine. up again. And now that our enemy just placed right under there, thankfully we can see them very easily. You'll do even better while watching this video, and we got some hearts. In the door we go. Of a timer because I think that ball gets closer and closer to us as time goes on. So we fight these guys very fast. Alright, there is no mid boss here. Oh, there might be one on this side. Time with Legends Arceus. Oh, I almost got hit by spikes. I don't appreciate that, man. That yeah, dude, I'm so fast. And we have an Omni Boost. On my main file of Legends Arcus, I don't think I ever made it past rank 8 or 9, I don't remember. Uh, one team member left, and what's the team member you plan on using? I can just float my way up here. Who needs stairs when you have the power of literal flight of out on your side? Now, right, what's the secret in here? Maybe an attack boost? I just gotta outspeed this monkey dude. That won't be hard. I'm already really fast. Well, yeah, just damage boost, that's okay. That's alright, that's mine. And there's my final attack boost. We have maximum stats. Oh, whatever boss we're gonna fight is gonna about to have a real bad time. Bro's about to get dunked on. Alright. Well, before that, we just gotta wait for this to move. Alright, just fly over this. Get ourselves one more heart. There's no secrets over here. Now the boss we fight is going to be destroyed. And it's Twin Krakow, the parallel version. Unearthly Stormfront, parallel Twin Krakow. Look how fast the HP is dropping. And they're already dead. <laughs> Found a lot of those uh, black agaries. 
There he is, and now it's his true form, where he's just one really big clown. And he's already at half HP. That's okay, I can just keep going boosting, and he's dead. Yep, that was the fight. That's 12, 12 of those things. You know how hard it was you took for me to find just one of those goddamn things? <laughs> Anyways. And now there's only one stage left. Let us begin it. And there's a few enemies right over here we can have some target practice on. How kind of them to just stand there right for us. Oh, I'm not gonna deal with Gordo back there. Cause he's invincible, we can't do anything to him. Alright, one and two. Thank you for the speed boost. Speaking of which, I think I should go through this door. Eh, I guess that Rocky gets to live another day, right? I guess we can't be- we can't just kill everything in sight. Gotta be a little... Not pacifistic sometimes, right? Yes, I saw your team. And we go this away. And it is quite a well built team, actually. Got all the type of diversity you need right there. Alright, get you down there. Get you down there. This is a no cannon zone, dude. Too many cannons everywhere. They're called shot zones in the Kirby world, but, and, I mean, look at them. They're literally just cannons. We're in a windy section, it would only be fitting to move as fast as possible. Need our defense move. Thank you. I can flow right through that past those, no need to destroy them. A puzzle piece sitting right there for us. I mean, if it's windy over here, how's a puzzle piece just floating like that? Ah, whatever. Maybe it's in a separate dimension to us and we just happen to collect it. Yes, I am aware those guys are alive. Oh no, we're gonna have to get squashed. Oh, we're good. Kill the enemies quickly if we want to progress. And if he's enjoying Let's Go Pikachu, that's good on him. That's so he can enjoy something that I simply cannot. Alright, down to the next floor. Well, mask enemies. Down to the bosses. Uh, normal bonkers and then an EX. I see he's playing the hack. I see he's playing the trick. Alright, one bonkers down. Also, notice how uh, Bonkers is a little smaller than his boss counterpart. I don't know why that's the case, but it's just a little fun fact. You know what? Plug, you can become a Bonkers as soon as that falls. There we go. Gravity decided to, you know, do its job today. <laughs> and now, that was stage... Well, that was the first part of stage five. Got that done in less than three minutes. I might as well have been a speed run. I might have just missed a secret. Doki Doki Literature Club. Well, I already know what happens in that game. I was thinking about getting it, maybe, but again, I already know what happens. In it. It's not free anymore, so screw that. <laughs> but, eh. It's one of those games where once you know what it's hiding, there's really no point in it. puzzle piece, and I don't take damage from spikes either. Hey, we can get even faster. I'm just too fast for a man. Actually, how do I get all the way down there? You know, it might be a later door. Now, what is Lethal Company? I saw he was playing that. I don't know what that is. Hopefully, 
Flamberg, I need your help. Ow. All that for some protein drinks, though. At least I think those are protein drinks. I don't know what they are. For the very first time, okay. I hope he enjoys it more than I do. It's mostly just a Pokemon Go catch mechanics that I hated. I really hope we don't ever get another game with those mechanics. My god. Hey, Monkey Man, where do you think you're going? Get over here. I need that. Right, I'm gonna wait for those to respawn. At least I think they respawn. Okay, maybe not. Uh, let's hope I don't fall now. Okay, we're good. Had nothing to worry about. It's okay, folks. It looks like there might be some secret stuff here, perhaps? No. Okay. Hey, Lord Argus is safe. Or no, Argus. Arcanine is safe now. Alright, and what is the friend to power that we're using today? The worst of all the friend abilities, my favorite. Seems remarkably easy to do that in the front circles that we've seen in previous episodes. Embarrassingly so. But thankfully, we won't have to worry about that right now, and we get a defense buff. Alright, let's just change here. Alright, we gotta break of that first. And how we do that is by breaking this bomb down. Take cover, everyone. You don't want to get hit with that. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, we gotta move this now. I'm gonna need one of you guys to use your hammer power. You know, that'd be really cool right now. Oh, thank you. What a nice fella. Helping out a friend, though. Right, let's get into the cannons now. We need all four. It makes sense, he's quad weak to ground. I did that boss fight, I was fighting it with a Gastrodon. Just destroy him with a muddy water. Alright, a attack move. There's a mic man in here. I kinda wish you could make friends with the mic enemy, but for some reason you can't. Maybe because, well, he could have had his own moveset. Sure, when Kirby uses it, it's only one, two, three, but these guys could have had their own moveset. Kind of like Tech from Superstar Ultra. And speaking of uh, older Kirby games, specifically for the NES era, uh, about an hour or two ago, at the time we're making this video right now, I just bought a copy of Kirby Squeak Squad. One of the teammates who's Kirby games I get to play, so it's all cool. I think our question of the day will be the opposite of what the last question of the day was in the last episode, and that will be, of the three, um, Mage sisters, which one do you find to be least enjoyable or your least favorite, and why? Yeah, none of them in particular for you. Well, maybe design wise again is my least favorite one, but all the boss are pretty cool, they're all fun to use, so... No, 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 She kind of breaks the trend too, of the of their having uh, being named after weapons to start with the letter F. So, I guess there's that because there's no other spear that's got the letter F in its name. But anyways, that is the second part of stage five done. It looks like we're nearing the end. That was a melee. Is that who we're talking about here? The, the alpha. Um, what am I calling that? Alpha. Uh, Lord Electrode. Oh, yep, yep, that's who we're talking about. 
Oh, there might be, hey, there's a secret up here. I always look for those secrets, man. Ow. Even if it deals a little damage to you. I right, just some one-ups and a uh, uh, blue heart. That's all I got. Ah, yeah. Nelly, no one likes that guy. I think he's one of those characters where he was kind of meant to be disliked. And if that's the case, hey, good job. They wrote him pretty well, then. Can I get you guys over there? Oh, I almost hit the lava just now. I mean, if you like Jupiter, hey, it's all on you. Never liked Jupiter myself. Mostly just our design looked a little off. I prefer Mars, of the two of them. That's me personally. Alright, I can go through here even though it makes it look like you can't. You can totally fly through here. And now we're much faster. And again, how do you make perfect cubes of lava like this? Not gonna lie, I mean, call me, um... I don't know, say there might be something wrong with me, but I don't know, something about those blocks of lava just look tasty. Almost like they're cubes of watermelons, that's what they kind of look like to me. Anybody else think that, or is it just me? It might just be me. Also, why are there bonkers here? I'll fight these guys. Alright, maybe they don't die. Ah, no, they do die, okay. by the Gordo. Ow! Invincibility candy was worth it. Mr. Flossy here to sell us his floss. And he went out of business again. Poor guy. He can't his business just can't catch a break. Oh, those guys are dead. Ah, my friends are gone. I got an attack boost. Oh man, we are so fast. And Mr. Flossy's Floss is back, and he's dead. That poor man's business. He just wanted to sell some floss. And Bugsy will do the trick. Oh no. I don't want to chef Kawasaki, but uh, too late. Too late, I guess. There's gotta be another secret in here. I think I'm just supposed to hit all three of these at once. All four of them at once. There are four of them. Counts. Sometimes I've always had trouble counting. The Mage Sisters can fight really well, but they never learned how to count, let's just say. I mean, if you like uh, um, Jupiter's dialogue, more power to you. And all my friends just died. I have no friends, man. Well, at least I can make friends with this guy over here. And he's <laughs> Bro, I just made friends with him and he's already dead. I can't why can't I keep any friends in this game? At least I can make friends with this guy. He's got the bombs and you as well, and another bomb guy. I'll see how long these guys last. Oh, my friends are dead, man. It makes me really sad. Now I've got more friends here now. Alright, moving on. Next part of the stage. Bird. I got rid of one of the bomber men. I <laughs> know, oh, man, I'm the worst friend ever. I let all my friends die. 
Sometimes our map friends me. Mostly it would just be better to stay on uh, new blocks that don't move. I wish the, um, my friends would listen to that advice, but, you know, they kind of just go into their own little world at the time. Blackout Dribble is like, where you think you're going, huh? Alright, uh, this part over here. Can become very confusing very quickly. Or maybe not very confusing. Yeah, no, not confusing at all. What am I saying? <laughs> there, we're almost to the end. Go through this door. Yep, here's the boss fight. We're almost there. Now, right, who should we use? Right, we need ourselves a Blade Knight. You're gonna have to go. And a yo yo dude. I think this would be a pretty good party. And here it comes. It's Morpho Knight, but he looks a little different this time. Dark Wing Disaster Morpho Knight EX. And here is Morpho Knight at his strongest. At least till he shows up again in Forgotten Land. And he does not take nearly as much- Ow. I might die here, because I am literally less than half HP. Too fast for him, man. Alright, second phase. Bring out the swords, man. He's bringing out the swords. Oh no. I'm gonna move up here. Can't touch me. Haha. <laughs> Alright, he's gonna turn my friends against me again. Alright, so far they haven't been hit with that. Stay over here. Man, dude's got no aim with that attack. Didn't even get me once. gonna use the tornado. Well, thankfully they all go into the background. It makes them pretty easy to dodge actually. Oh no, my friends are dying again. Ow. I don't like being hit, Mr. Morphonite. Thank you very much. Now let me take a time to get you back up. Alright, let's go to the opposite, opposite side of the screen. And then float up here when he goes into the middle. He's almost dead. And down he goes. Hey, Melly Connor deserves it the way he acts. But anyways, Morpho Knight is dead. And he's gone for good. Again, at least till he shows up again in Forgotten Land. And it took us a little over an hour to do that in two different segments. And now what puzzle pieces did we get? Right, and these are all my clear times. And now we quit. That side I was in things. Alright, we could go through the, uh, the credits here. 
Uh, only for a split second, you can't really hit anything. Or could you? Yeah, you can. But no point, so let's just skip this. We have all seen this already a few dozen times. No need to waste our time with it. And look at that, our little picture for finishing this up. I forgot to mention, all the dream friends, like the special dream friends that aren't just the abilities, they have their own little ending pictures each and every time you uh, win with them. But alright, anyways, that will be the end of Guest Star Heroes. And in the next episode, and most likely the finale of this series, besides the bonus episodes I plan on doing, we will do the ultimate choice for the third time. Uh, let's just say I picked Dark Mountain Knight again right now because I'm edgy, and in that next episode, we do Soul Melter EX. And I'm gonna practice like hell for this because this is very difficult. And I might die a few times. So expect multiple parts with this. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Anyways, if y'all enjoyed this and you want to see more, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow. Hit one of the vids you see on screen right now if on YouTube, and that bell button for more. And I give a special thank you to both to uh, Aaron for joining me once again for this wondrous episode. Plus, this video is sponsored by the wonderful people at W. Just hit the link in the description below. Use the code provided to get a wonderful discount on your wonderful energy drink order. I recommend that Dragon Age flavor. Answer the question of the day of the Mage Sisters, which is your least favorite and why? Let us know. And what did you like and dislike about this video thus far? So I can use that feedback in future videos. And now, one last thing, let us do a quick raid before we go. Alright. Uh, let's raid the Koala guy. He's... Uh, he's playing Metroid Prime Remastered. Go give him his support and tell him that I sent you. Alright, thank you everybody for watching, and have a bearific day.